Greetings everyone. In today's tutorial, we will quickly learn to resolve serve images in next-gen formats on Google Page Insights or GT Matrix. We will convert JPG and PNG images to WebP format online and also by using Photoshop. We will then upload WebP images on our WordPress website without using any plugins. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Let's open our browser and go to our demo site heyletslearnsomething.com slash demo. So this is our demo site. Let me quickly run Google PageSpeed and analyze the website. Now if I scroll down, you can see serve images in next gen format. We will resolve this. This is for the mobile version. And even if I check the desktop version, you can see serve images in next gen format. Let's fix this. Simply open all images and save them in a folder. I'll save it to desktop and create a folder JPZ images. And let's save them all. So we have saved all the images. So here are all the images we need to convert to WebP format. Please note, if you have a small site or starting a new website, then you can manually convert all images to WebP and upload it to your WordPress website. But if you have many images that needs conversion, then you can use various plugins like WebP Express, EWWW Image Optimizer and convert images to WebP format. However, in this tutorial, we are doing the conversion manually without using any plugins. Anyway, so these are the images. The easiest method is if we search JPZ to WebP and go to this site, I have been using this site and works pretty well. Choose an image. Let me choose one, upload, convert to WebP. You can see there's not much difference in the quality of the image and simply save it. Show in folder. If I open this image, so it's now in WebP format. So this is how you can do it online. You can do it for all the images. For now, one image is done. Let me cut the image and put them here together. I'll just rename it. Now this is doing online. If you want to work it with Photoshop, by default you cannot. Let me drag an image. And let's try to save it in WebP. Photoshop does not allow to save it, nor shows the WebP image as we kept it in the same folder. Now, in order to enable this feature on Photoshop, first let's close Photoshop. I'll close this too. Now open the browser and go to the site here let's learn something.com. Once you are here, simply search for WebP Photoshop. Click here. So here are a couple of links to download. The plugin is available for both Mac and Windows. We will do it for Windows. Download it for Windows. It has been downloaded. So in folder. I'll keep it in the desktop. So this is the plugin which will help you to work with WebP image on Photoshop. So to install this, go to start menu, type Photoshop, here is it, right click on it and open file location. Once this is opened, it's a shortcut, so right click on it, 
go to properties and again go to open file location. So this is the folder or you can directly go to C drive, program files, Adobe and Photoshop. Anyway, so now find and go to plugins folder. So this is the folder. So you just need to cut or drag the file over here. That's about it. Let me close this. After this is done, simply open your Photoshop. Now we are here. Let me try and open an image. So let's go to the JPZ folder. You can see it can now read WebP format. Let's convert this one. You can make necessary changes to the images as you want. Just double click on the background and make changes. Anyway, I will save it. And now you can see WebP format. Give it an appropriate name and you can choose the quality. The default is 75 which should work pretty good and OK and do this for all the images. So we have done all the necessary conversions. Let me just keep it in a folder WebP and paste all the images to the folder. So here are all WebP images and here are JPZ. So here you can see the size of all the JPZ images which is above 600 kilobyte. Let me check the size of WebP images. So the WebP images are nearly 2.5 times smaller. Anyway, after converting the images, let's upload to our WordPress website. Let me close this all and go to wp-admin and enter your username and password. Now let's go to media and let's try to upload WebP images. Again, by default, WordPress does not allow you to upload WebP images. We can't even see them. If I choose all files and try to upload it, it will display an error as you can see. So in order to enable WebP uploads, go to Appearance and Theme Editor and go to Themes function. Scroll down and all you have to do is copy this code and paste it at the bottom. So this code will automatically work. You do not need to change anything. Simply update file. It's done. So let's go to media and let's try to upload WebP images. Now you can see these are JPZ and these are WebP. Let me upload them all. If you click on image, you can also see full preview and it's .webp. So it's the WebP as in the URL too. After all medias are uploaded, let's go to the pages and make necessary changes to the images of your site. Let me quickly change the images. Instead of uploading on media, you can as well directly upload while working on the pages. Also, please make sure that all images have appropriate alt text. This is for the SEO purposes. Anyway, it's done. So let me update. Let me also clear the cache. And let's analyze the website. So if we scroll down, it seems we forgot to change this one. Rest of them has been resolved. Let me quickly change it too. And again analyze the site. So now you can see everything has been resolved. Even for the desktop, it's resolved. 
So this is how you can fix next gen emails and get a better score. This works on both GT Matrix and Google Page Insights. Thank you very much.